Let me tell you a story. In December 2022, I found myself in one of the lowest points of my life. I was so caught up in the fast life of university, doing all sorts of things that I wasn't proud of. Because of the accumulation of all the bad habits I was doing, nothing seemed to get better. To be honest, things go worse. So I took this test by Yale University Science of Wellbeing survey and I was diagnosed with severe anxiety and depression and I was asked to seek for help at the time. I genuinely wanted to put serious effort into transforming my life and becoming a better version of myself. But each time I tried, I found myself waking up in the morning tired as hell and just relapsing on the bad habits that I said I was going to stop. So I started to make different research on YouTube on how to live a happier life. I couldn't believe this was me. But after TED talk, after TED talk, after motivational speeches back to back, I discovered one truth it was that if I wanted to change my life, I would have to think about the daily and consistent choices that I make, which means breaking the bad habits that were holding me down and forming new ones. That is why we are here, because I want to share with you some of my experiences with these bad habits that are destroying you and making you weak each and every single day. Once we have identified them, we will now be able to bring down different strategies to help us break some of these bad habits. So just before I go into the first point, I have a question. Do you know what the number one thing that kills the potential of men is? Let me tell you, it is not video games, it is not taking junk food. It is this silent poison that has been trapping a lot of young men within the four corners of their screen. And this is called internet pornography. The thing with internet porn is that disadvantages are just way too much really there is no positive light to this rubbish but i'm going to continue to condemn it because if you look at the number of young men who watch this filth you will be disappointed we live in a very sexualized society today that tries to rob us of our culture and value systems there was this study done on the age range was from 15 to 29 year old australians it shows that 89 percent of people in this group were identified to have viewed porn at some point in their lives. And the first time they started viewing this porn was 13 years old. Can you imagine what they are doing to us? They are grabbing young children and putting this filth in front of them. The messed up thing about internet pornography is you will never be satisfied with what you have. You always have this fake idea of what your partner should look like what your relationship should look like which is all for when you don't get what you want your self-esteem will crash and also you now be disappointed in yourself because you told yourself that you are not going to indulge in that but then again you find yourself relapsing on what you said you are not going to do i'm being very hard on this video because i know what this has done to my self-esteem in the past i know what it has done to my potential how it has limited me in so many many different ways i want you to start looking for different resources like start looking for ways that you can quit porn no matter how long it will take just keep trying if you're looking for any personal help like i've written a book on this you can sign up for my coaching program anything i will help you i promise the next bad habits that is destroying you and making you weak I'm very very sure you are a victim of this because I'm a victim of this right now. So back in school I was always the guy that wouldn't sleep throughout the night like until 4am or 7am. But the question that I have is how do you think I performed in school? What did my grades look like? How do you think my physique was? My YouTube? Was I making any good progress in my YouTube or my business? Of course not. This was because I disregarded the most important thing sleep and recovery. What type of work would you produce on just two hours of sleep my friend come on just keep reading that same line reading that same chapter while me i'm on eight hours of sleep i promise you if we both sit down to read like a chapter for one hour i would make so much progress and understand way more things better than you that is on just two hours of sleep some of you might say that you just have a problem naturally sleeping and i totally understand that but the problem that you're facing is most of us we do not get ready to go to bed we do not sleep sleep sleeping as an event the average adult in the u.s spends about three hour 30 minutes on social media every night before going to bed this is bad because you are literally doing the opposite implement a nighttime routine that allows you to get good amounts of sleep have a cold shower before bed you can write before going to bed um put on some good music go to a cool room and just get some good sleep 
ever since i started going to bed earlier i have been waking up at least 5 7 a.m every day and i'll get some good work done my physique has improved my mental health has improved my youtube business is doing very good the thing is you can beat 90 to 99 percent of your competition just by going to bed early look on a serious note this last habit that we are going to discuss is the main cause of everything that we've spoken about that's the main reason why people have poor mental health why people get poor sleep and why people are porn addicts you have been addicted to your phone and most especially social media this has just doubled the standards now now we are comparing ourselves with professional bodybuilders who have seen other people's beautiful relationships and ours is not working so our self-esteem tends to reduce our excessive use of social media is really just causing a lot of problems like you just start to get anxious now right let's say just go and meet a random person if possible or people in your class people that you're familiar with if you notice most of them really can't maintain eye contact so these guys cannot just have a simple conversation with you because most people are brain numb from social media even in your family dining table for example everybody is up with their phones nobody's talking to each other no one is interacting with each other just drop your phone at home go out and get some real life experiences my personal advice like me personally okay now i have social media but is i don't go there and scroll i just post there on social media like i post what i want to post don't waste most of your time there like all these instagram reels and tiktoks wallahi they're just time wasters i promise you to remove more bad habits and implement the good ones obviously your life will be better i wanted to talk about some more things but the video is getting way too long if you've reached here that means you're an og and i love you but yeah that's it for today's video and i'll see you in the next one thank you i'm sure where i am right now i'm in a like, hotel it's like a golf course yeah 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 mm -hmm. can you see me now yeah it's like a villa but i'll see you in the next one i'll give you more so i'll give you i'll give you like a tour the next time i'll try and do vlogs this trip so i'll see you in the next one let's go